Hello! So today we're going to learn how to create a name tag with MakeCode Editor for your BBC Microbit. The first thing we're going to look at is how to make the code. This can either be done on the BBC Microbit app or then the MakeCode Editor website which I'll link below. For this project I'll be making my code on the Microbit app, however it doesn't really make any difference whether you use the app or if you use the website. To start with, we're going to start adding code into our forever block. And to do this, we're going to go into the basics tab and we're going to grab a show string block. We're going to click and drag that into our field and drop it into the forever block. Then what we're going to do is we're going to write our name in between the speech marks in the show string block. So I'm just going to go ahead and write Sadie in here. And that will be what's displayed on the micro bit. From here, we're going to go back into our basics tab and we're going to choose a show icon block. We're going to click and drag that into our field and drop it below the show string. Now what we're going to do is we're going to choose an icon to go behind our name. So if you click the little downwards arrow next to the heart, you'll get a drop down list of all the options that you can choose from. There's quite a few, so hopefully there'll be one that you like. I'm just going to play simple and go with a heart. And now that's placed, what we're going to do is go into the basics tab again and we're going to select a pause block from the list. We're going to grab and take that into our field and pop it below the show icon. Now that's in place, what we're going to do is we're going to click the drop down box next to the 100 and we're going to select 2 seconds. And this will be the amount of time that it's displayed on the micro bit for before repeating. Finally, it's time to add our last piece of code. What we're going to do is we're going to go into the basic section. We're going to go into the more section, which is below it, and then click a clear screen block and click and hold and drag it into the field and pop it in between the pods block and the forever block. And this is the end of the code. So what you can do now is press the play block on the micro bit that is displayed on the left top corner. And this should start running our code. You should be able to see your name displaying and when that's finished you should see the icon you selected. After two seconds it should clear and the code should start again. And hopefully that's your code up and running. Now it's time to download the Microbit project to the Microbit from the app. So now we've finished our code, what we have to do is download the project. To do this we're going to click the download button in the left bottom hand corner. And this will take up a screen saying searching for your last paired micro bit. Then what happens is we'll probably have to reconnect it. And to do this, what we're going to do is we're going to click show how on the screen. And this will take us to a guide on how to pair the micro bit to the app again. So first things first, we're going to press and hold the A and B button. And then what we'll do is while we're still holding them, We'll hit the reset button on the back and then release the reset button while still holding the A and B buttons down. And the LED should start flashing on your micro bit and give you a code which should match the code showing on the screen. Next, your screen should say flashing to micro bit. And once this is done, that will be transferred onto your micro bit and it should say flashing successful. The second method I'm going to show you is downloading the code from the computer onto the micro bit. So before we can begin to download the file, we have to make sure that the micro bit is actually connected to the laptop. So to do this, we're going to use a USB lead and connect it to the USB port on the laptop and also connect it to the micro bit. Now we can see our finished code on screen. To download it, what we're going to do is click the download button and this will start downloading the file to your hard drive. From here, we'll be able to see it in the download bar at the bottom of your screen. We'll click and drag that file into File Explorer and then drop it into the micro bit drive and this will start downloading it to your micro bit. Now you can see the micro bit displaying the code. To begin with, our name will start to run through after this, we'll be able to see the selected icon. After two seconds, this will clear and the code will begin to run again. That brings us to the end of our video. Thank you so much for watching and I really hope this helped.